Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Tyler, and if you couldn't tell by the title of this video or the whiteboard behind me, it is time to go for a new certification. So I wanted to make a video talking about it, how I'm feeling, what my study plan looks like, and all of those wonderful things. So let's get into it. So the AZ-104 or Microsoft Certified Associate Azure Administrator is pretty much what it sounds like. It's the associate level certification for Azure Cloud, which is Microsoft's public cloud, and is a really common certification that people go for after passing their AZ-900 certification exam, which I just did last week. Being an associate level exam means that this exam is going to be significantly harder than the AZ-900. It's going to be much more in depth on all of the topics it goes over, and it's really going to require significant time to study and pass that test. I'm hoping to pass the certification test in five or six months is the time frame I'm shooting for, and I absolutely think that's doable. So now I want to talk a little bit about how I'm going to spend those five or six months to study and hopefully pass the certification on the first try. And if you guys have suggestions, if you've taken this exam or you're studying for it as well, and you have a suggestion on a study resource I should be checking out or using, please leave it in the comment section below because it is very, very appreciated to get some more input on the study materials I'm choosing to use. The first thing on my kind of study plan is to watch through Scott Duffy's 104 course and take full notes on the entire thing. It's probably gonna end up being like a 30, 40 page document, but that's all right. If you guys have watched this channel for a while, you'll know that normally I don't take notes on the first go around, but I figured I'd switch it up and see if it's more effective or less effective and just see how it goes. Following Scott's course and the notes I'm going to take on Scott's course, I'm going to go ahead and read through the entirety of the Cymex study guide. Try to not knock over all of my textbooks while I do this. So yeah, this one right here, it is a fairly big book coming in at 600 pages, so much shorter than the CCNA textbooks, but much longer than like the Kubernetes textbooks, for example. I don't plan on taking many notes out of this book. However, if I find something that Scott's course doesn't even brush on, I will probably add it to my notes packet in another section. And I plan to publish that notes packet and I'm going to try to make it as thorough as possible. So hopefully I can help anyone else out there going for the AZ-104. After I get done reading this guy, I am going to go over to Microsoft Learn and do the full learning path for the AZ-104. And of course, the reason I'm doing that is generally for Microsoft certifications. Microsoft Learn is on the top of everybody's recommendation list. So I did want to add it into my study plan. I didn't put it as the first thing just because I figured if I already have a lot of background knowledge on the exam concepts from reading the textbook and going through Scott's course and taking all these notes, I think I'll be able to get a little bit more out of the Microsoft Learn modules because I'll be able to focus on the like nitty gritty details that things like the course or the textbook might miss. Similar to any notes I'll be grabbing from the textbook, I will be taking notes from the Microsoft Learn modules, but they won't be really in depth from the Microsoft material. I'll just add things that either the course missed or I didn't have in the notes packet already because I would really love to have a high quality document I can share with you guys that not only includes the content required to pass the exam, but is also pulling it from multiple places to make sure I'm not missing anything. Then once I finish all of that up, it's finally time for practice tests. I haven't done a ton of research on who makes the best AZ-104 practice tests yet. However, two sets I know I will absolutely be doing is the one from Microsoft because it's made by Microsoft. And the second set or sets I'm going to be doing are from Tutorials Dojo, as I've used them for my Cloud Practitioner, my Solutions Architect Associate, and my AZ-900. And in all of my experiences, they've been really high quality practice tests that do a good job at mimicking the actual difficulty of the exam and sometimes even going a little bit above the exam in terms of difficulty, which 
I never see as a bad thing. I know some people complain about it, but if you're able to pass a test that's known to be even harder than the actual exam, I think that puts you in a really good place to test on the actual exam. That's everything in my study plan right now. Again, if you guys have recommendations, please leave them in the comments below because I will take any input I get. I know this won't be a cakewalk. It's gonna be a very long journey for the certification and any kind of advice from those who have taken and passed this exam is very, very appreciated. But with that being said, I will wrap it up here. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you want to follow my degree-free journey through tech, of course, drop a subscribe. Thank you very much.